Now, this question in particular is actually a simple ratio problem. But still, a lot of you guys got this wrong. And uh, it's a troubling for me. But I realized siguro that's because most of you are new to the channel and new to the team. So, bago kayo sa team like, hindi nyo pa alam itong mga techniques na tinuro ko na long before. And um, that's why I'm going to revisit it with you guys. Okay? As this is a simple proportion problem. As sabi, four workers can finish 18 chairs in a day. How many chairs can six workers finish in a day. Now, ang ginagamit kong technique dito is what I call ratio rotation. So, if you don't follow me on YouTube yet, you can find it there. It's called ratio rotation. And this one in particular has helped me in many of the exams I took ever since I was a child. Uh, hanggang civil service, hanggang upkat, fail sat, all of these exams. Hanggang promotional exams, makikita at makikita nyo yan. Okay? Now, ang rule dito, since this is a direct proportion, which I really need you to understand. I will also put the links dun sa full lessons uh, dito sa post dito para mapanood nyo yun, no? This is a direct proportion. Ibig sabihin ng direct proportion is kung dumadami yung isang side, dumadami rin siya. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Kung dumami ang tigagawa, okay? Kasi nakita nyo, 4 dati ngayon, 6. Ano mangyayari sa chairs? O, oh, diba? Praktikalan lang. Dito papasok yung common sense, no? Alam ko marami naguguluhan kung inverse or direct pa yung proportion. Pero ang susi lang talaga dyan, tanongin nyo yung sarili ninyo. Common sense ang gamitin natin. Kung ang trabahador mo apat, ang natatapos lang nila 18, kung magdadagdag ako ng tao, mas marami ba or mas konti ang kaya nilang tapusin? So, syempre kung nagdagdag ka ng tao or trabahante, diba? Mas marami silang magagawa. Kasi sa math, laging ganun. Now, sa totoong buhay, obviously, hindi yun laging ganun. Pero sa math, is the same. So, ano yung sabihin nun? Laging mas dadami yung chairs. So, kung dumami ang workers, dumami ang chairs, ibig sabihin nun, that is what we call direct proportion. Kasi, direct or, um, pag tumaas yung isang side, tataas din yung isang side. Now, pag hindi, pagbaliktad yun ay inverse proportion which I will talk about in another question na siguro once we encounter that or you can find it on YouTube on my YouTube channel for the free full lessons okay now dito ang nakalagay ang rule natin dito honestly sa ratio proportion uh, ratio and proportion lalo sa direct proportion is tapat dapat so ibig sabihin nun we're just going to put this into fraction form four workers okay four workers 18 chairs. Ito yung isa. Ito yung isang side. Four workers can finish 18 chairs in one day. Okay? Now, ang tinatanong, how many chairs can six workers finish? Sa kabilang side ngayon, ilalagay ko yung six workers. Kaya lang sabi, tapat dapat. Ibig sabihin, kung ito yung workers sa side, dito ko siya ilalagay sa taas. Six workers. Kasi ang hinahanap mo ay kung ilan yung chairs. Again, sa math, yung hinahanap nagiging X. Now, ratio rotation, ang gagawin natin, instead of doing yung cross multiplication, okay, ang gagawin lang natin is iikot natin siya. Okay? Now, this part right here, ito yung nananeglect ng maraming tao. And I think itong dahilan ko bakit marami sa inyo nang nagkamali ng sagot. Most of you answered 24, which is actually the wrong answer. Now, ang advice ko sa inyo is this. Pag nakakita kayo ng fraction na ganito, at mahirap siya i-divide, para hindi kayo mag-deal with decimals, in smallest terms nyo siya. So, if you notice, ang 4, pwede mo siya i-divide sa 2. Ang 18, pwede mo siya i-divide sa 2. So, ibig sabihin, yung 4 divided by 2 is 2. Pwede mo siyang gawing 2. Pwede mo siyang gawing 9. So, ang smallest terms ng 4 over 8, 4 over 18, is 2 over 9. So, ito na lang ang iisipin ko. Hindi na yung 4 over 18. Okay? And this time, hindi ko man to kayang i-divide. Pwede akong dumaan dito. 6. Okay? Iikot ko lang siya. Ratio rotation. 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 9. The answer is 27 chairs. And now, you're done. Okay? So again, instead of looking for yung base or rate or whatever or using cross multiplication, hopefully, your ratio rotation technique can help you. Again, anong takeaways natin dito? First of all, uh, you have to determine using your common sense if it's, an, if it's a direct proportion or inverse proportion. Next, Kung merong fraction form, as much as possible, at lalo na kung mahirap mag-divide, make sure that you put it in lowest terms muna, and then you can use ratio rotation, and that's it. You're going to get to the answer, okay?
sabi dito, an artist can make four paintings in 20 hours. How long would it take for him to make five paintings? Now, a common misconception is, kapag ratio problem, ang idea ng iba, if it involves time, which in this case it does, kasi 20 hours, sabi nila, pag it, if it involves time daw, inverse proportion. Well, that's not necessarily true. Ano ibig sabihin ko? In order for you to know if inverse or direct proportion, you have to imagine it. So, dito, sabi yung artist daw, from 4 paintings, kailangan niya gawing 5 paintings. Okay? So, mag increase yung dami ng paintings. Now, sa kabilang side naman, we have the number of hours. So, 20 hours yung isang, yung 4 paintings na ginagawa niya. Now, again, you have to imagine common sense. Kung ako ba magdadagdag ako ng painting na gagawin, will it take the artist longer or shorter na amount of time? Na kung ako, kung syempre kung magdadagdag ako ng trabaho at isa pa rin laman yung gagawa, ang ibig sabihin nun, yung oras ng trabaho dapat madagdagan din. So, ibig sabihin, this one right here is yung side ng hours, tataas din siya. At kapag pareho silang tataas, which I explained in the full video lesson, this will be a direct proportion. At kung direct proportion siya, all we have to do, instead of finding yung rate pa, magpipikr pa tayo or anything like that, like a formula, Sa, ang suggestion ko would be ratio rotation na lang. So, 4 paintings in 20 hours. So, kung 5 paintings, ilang hours ngayon? This will be your X. Okay? Ganyan yung nawawala. And all we have to do is iikot lang natin siya. Dito, dahil itong pinakamadaling side na iikutan, doon natin gagawin. So, 20 divided by 4 is 5 times 5. That will be 25 hours. Okay? Na meron nagtanong sa comment dun sa huli kong ratio problem. Ang sabi niya, paano daw malalaman kung saang side uh, magsisimula? Kung dito ba o dito? Now, ang recommendation ko is, if you're, you're used to multiplying or dividing numbers, malalaman mo agad kung saang side mas madali mag-divide. Pero either way can work. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Kasi yung 20, mas madali siya i-divide sa 4. Pero kung gusto mo naman simulan dito, pwede rin naman. And the answer will still be the same. Kaya lang yun nga, you'll be dealing with fractions or decimals. So, for in, for example, dito, 5 times 4, uh, 5 divided by 4, so magiging 5 over 4 siya, or 1.25. Tapos, i-multiply ko ngayon siya sa 20. Now, of course, pag nag-multiply ako ng fractions, pwede ko i-cancel yan eh. Okay, bali naman divisible sa 4, so magiging 5 na lang to. So, maititira ay 5 over 1 times 5, or still 25. Pareho pa rin doon. So again, yun ang beauty ng ratio rotation. Whether magsimula ka sa side na to or sa side na yon, pareho pa rin yung magiging sagot. Pero I always suggest, start with yung side na pinakamadali. San ba side madali mag-divide? And then, dun ka iikot. Okay? This problem right here is a work problem. So if you don't know it yet, I have a series of this na rin kompleto na yon sa YouTube. You can just search team like a uh, work problem. Uh, and if you're watching this, then uh, there, there should be a link to the entire playlist dun sa description ng video na ito. Okay? Sabi dito, Frodo can clean the house in 10 hours. If Sam helps, it takes them 6 hours. How long would it take Sam to clean the house alone? I was actually quite surprised na ang daming mali dito. In fact, in fact, dun sa apat options, yung tamang sagot ang may pinakakonti ang sagot, ang tumama. So, mga wala pang 20%, eh, I think mga 15% lang yung tumama dito. So, medyo sad. 
Kaya, ano, um, sabi ko, i-explain ko muna siya sa inyo. Alright? Let me show you how to do it. I'll show you the traditional method of doing this. Um, sa live review, meron akong parang speed math technique dito, yung titinan-tinan mo na lang or tatansyahin mo. Pero, uh, that's another uh, topic for another time. But if you're attending the live review or joining the online review program, you probably know that already. I'll show you yung formula muna. Okay? Ang formula goes like this. Uh, it's going to be like this. So, 1 over kung ilan yung individual na isa plus 1 over yung individual ng isa times kung ilan yung hours that they work together and then equals kung ilan yung work na ginawa nila. Alright? Now, ito, in-explain ko agad again dun sa YouTube video. So, if you fill in lang natin yung information. Sabi, Frodo can clean the house in 10 hours. So, individual yung kay Frodo. So, you put 10 here. And then sabi, if Sam helps, and I guess dito nagkamali yung iba, kung tutulong si Sam, magiging 6 hours sila. So yung 6, you don't put the 6 here. Okay? Kasi yan yung individual. Diyan mo ilalagay kung sinabi yung kay Sam mag-isa. E ang sinabi, yung 6 ay pag magkasama sila. So you put 6 here. Isa lang naman yung inuhugasan or nililinis na bahay. So 1 pa rin yan. Ito actually yung X. And dito nagka-problema. Kasi a bunch of you answered a number that is smaller than 6. When in fact, ang hinahanap talaga again is this, yung individual, hindi ito. Okay? So, isosolve natin ito down. This will be 1 over 10 plus 1 over x. Now, yung classic na way of doing this would be, uh, cross multiply mo kasi yan eh. So, ang magiging kanilang LCD would be 10x. And then, this will be x plus and then 10. Okay? And then, multiply mo by 6 is equal to 1. Okay? Now, again, you can just distribute this. So, 6 times x is 6. x plus and then 10 times 6, which is 60. All over 10, x is equal to 1. Tapos, multiply lang natin siya sa 10x both sides. This will be 6x plus 60 is equal to 10x. Kasi makakancel na ito. Tapos, ang gagawin natin, iiwan natin yung x sa isang side. So, ito na lang ang ililipat ko para manatiling positive yung x. This will be 10 minus 6x is equal to 60. Tapos, 10 minus 6, 10x minus 6x is going to be 4x. 60, divide mo sa 4. Both sides para makancel yon. 60 divided by 4 na lang. Ang 60 divided by 4, okay, you can actually do this mentally, pero kung hindi, pwedeng mano-mano. This will be 1, 4, and then you have 20. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So, 20 na yun, tapos na tayo dyan. So, the answer actually is 15 hours. Alright? So, the answer is letter D. Now, again, there are different versions ng work problems. Minsan, ang hinahanap yung dito, minsan yung dito, minsan 2 ito or 3, iba-iba yan. Or kung magdadagdag ka ng tao, you'll, you'll add another fraction. So, you really need to master this just in case, lalo na sa exam, dikit-dikit yung mga options or para bumilis kayo dito. So, if you haven't seen the videos yet, again, the links should be here in this video then sa description ng video na ito. Okay? So, if you don't follow me yet on Instagram, you can follow me at Like a Maravilla to catch those dun sa mga uh, upcoming na mga videos at uh, upcoming na mga questions natin para makapag-participate kayo. And uh, hopefully, tama na kayo next time. Alright? So, if you like this and if you want me to keep making more, don't forget to like this video and share this with your friends. And uh, as we always say, sa team, never stop learning. Adja-adja kayo niyan ang see you next video. And bye for now.